Hello everyone and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 11. We're going to be doing the Project Eden as you can tell. I am going to go on and I'm going to be on the uh, the Dead World one more time uh, because I think it's uh, I think it's a fun challenge to try to overcome and uh, to not use the factory which is uh, which is going to be one of those things that I want to try and uh Let's do Alpha. Alpha 11 Season 1. And we're going to set that. My seed number is 39. If you, if you type in the seed number and you hit 39, you're going to have to go back and hit the back button and then re enter the scenario again to get the seed to change what what seed it is. It, it, it's a bug for some reason. We are going to go on the very hard difficulty, but we're going to do player progression is going to be fast. Uh, or and deposits are going to be few and poor. We're going to do true CPU points, which means that we're going to have to specialize our ships and whatnot. We're going to do true check, which is check mass and volume. So we're going to do mass and volume. We're going to go fast blueprints and fast constructor because I, uh, I don't want to spend... 200 hours sitting by myself waiting for something to craft so yeah we're gonna do that and you like drone base attack high overall drone present all that you know this is my settings you can pause it and uh yeah let's get started so why this is loading up i want to thank everyone that has subscribed and is watching my videos i do really appreciate you if i don't say it enough but i uh i do appreciate you uh this is going to be Alpha 11. We're going to see how far we can take it. That, I would really love to hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas. So if you're out there and you watch my video and you like the video, please uh, hit that subscribe button. It uh, helps the channel grow. And, uh, and if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down. You know, uh, comment down there below. Tell me what you want to see. Uh, tell me what what you're looking forward to in the uh, Imperion Alpha 11. You've seen some of it in my previous videos, like, uh, you know, the uh, ship building and the POI taking over. You know, everything is dra dramatically changed because of the CPU, CPU unit. You know, you were supposed to specialize your ships, so you, you're going to have multi-role ships. One's going to be for attacking, one's going to be for mining, one's going to be for... Uh, uh, for traveling around, then you're gonna make uh, you're gonna make a, a CV. You know, it, you can dock a CV to CV now. You can dock a SV to an SV now. You can dock a hover vessel to a hover vessel. Uh, so, like, you don't have to really put anything, any armor on the uh, hover vessel if you bring another hover vessel that has turrets on it. So that is going to be one of those. Uh, uh, big things in this uh, alpha that I'm going to try to uh, uh, do. But this is Project Eden. We have rumbled on long enough. We're going to grab all our stuff out of there. And we're going to grab all our stuff out of here. And that. And we're going to go like this into the Blue Friend Factory. And we are going to pick... We're going to pick a, a, a large CV. Let's just do the blob of mine. And we're going to just throw the flashlights away. We start with that armor and we don't need it. And it, it gave me two silicon. So yeah. Uh, let's see. We don't need the light armor. Because we're wearing light armor. And uh, yeah. So uh, there's de degradation in the game now. So uh, my armor will degrade. So I think that's going to be a little bit harder challenge. We have looted the boxes. We will, this is just an overview of uh, the scenario. If you'd like to read it, I will scroll slowly down. And you can read it at, at all your heart's content. There you go. That's Project Eden. It tells you uh, what happened, the cryo facility, and nobody left. We're going to turn on the jetpack. We are going to F5 for the drone. And we are going to take a look outside real quick. So there's some O2. There's some O2. Engine compartment is where we want to go. Map. Remove on approach. Remove on approach. 
Okay, so we found our destination. Let's get on going. Uh, survival tool, multi-tool. Make sure that the multi-tool is charged. It's not. I gotta set some things down on my thing so I can see. These are gonna try to make the episodes a little shorter. Uh, I know they have been a little long lately. Uh, 250. Salvage. We're gonna need all the goodies. Okay. So we're gonna head to the... Sh we're, we are up against it. We... The armor, the uh, supply cache, wreckage, junk pile, rune building. Okay, these are all check check buildings that you need to check off. How much O2 are we going to get from here? We are already uh, cold, so we're going to pop a hot beverage. Some water that we can turn into oxygen. Some nutrient solution. Okay, we're done with that one. We need to get to the supply cache and hopefully there's a heater cooler in there. It looks like our food is plummeting right now because our stamina is just being tanked. We're gonna pop a, we're gonna pop that and then we're gonna pop one of the emergency rations. Too cold still, let's pop another drink, see if that warms us up any. Come on baby, give me a portable heater co cooler. I really need one in my life. Hypothermia again. Use one of the uh, berry juice or uh, I mean hot beverages. We're gonna go stand on this generator so we can uh, warm up. Okay, come on, jetpack. There we go. Let's see what's in the supply cache. Some food, a bike. Yeah, we'll take the bike. Take the core, we'll take the O2, we'll take the food and the bandages. Okay, the supply crash was uh junky. We need another supply cache. Supply cache. Okay, let us overheat real quick and then we will uh we will take off to the other supply cache because we're looking for a portable heater cooler. Yeah, we're looking for a portable heater cooler. We'll grab all the goodies from here real quick, and then we'll warm back up and uh, head off to the other cryo facility. Or not the cryo facility, we left the cryo facility. Okay, so warm back up, and then we're going to go over to the other supply cache. Come on baby, warm up, overheat. My rads are going up really bad. We're gonna hit this supply cache and then we're gonna hit Hongo or or we're gonna hit a base and uh, see what it has in it. Right now, we're we're our main focus is to get a heater cooler. Once we get that, then we're we're golden. You know, we can we can really. Hopefully we get a portable heater cooler here. Let's get over here on the generator. Let's see. Yeah, we got a portable heater cooler. Good. So uh, let's look what the loot has in it. We have an energy bar, which we can eat right now. Some explosives, some more O2. Another portable, or a portable constructor. We're gonna heat up. Uh, we're gonna drop the portable heater cooler down there. And then we're gonna plop it on the ground real quick. Okay, our radiation is going to be a key factor, so we're going to get this. Too hot, good. Good. We made it to the too hot stage. Okay, pick up the heater cooler. Now we need to find a base of operation. Havoc Rescue Modular will be a good spot because uh, it's close. 
We need to get rid of the rads. So we need to hurry up and get over here and uh, plop down a shower. Now that we got the heater cooler. Bike, you're useless on heels. You're going to get me killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too cold. I'll put, I'll put down the heater cooler here in a second. Come on, baby. Get to the Havoc Mesh module. This is by far one of the best ones you could find in the game. It's uh, got a sealed environment. It's got room. Come on, baby. Hold on. We need to get rid of these rats. So you want to switch the base to private? This is by far... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get rid of the rats, so... There we go. Yeah, this is by far one of the best, better bases to uh, get. You can eat that. Let's go uh, out here and warm up. Now we need to, uh, we went to this supply cache, so you right click, not show on hub, you, you, de well, you deselect that, and then you can go cleared, and then it'll just tell me that I've been there, and it, uh, again, uh, Type in clear, and it it just put a pin there, and it won't show up on my HUD, so that I can go look at the map, and then I can go cleared, cleared, you know, so that I know where I have been, where I haven't been. We're gonna go get rid of the rads, and then we're going to uh, we're gonna venture off some more. This is gonna be our home base. It's by far the best base you could find in the game, as far as Project Eden goes. We're gonna dump in, uh, actually we can, we can dump, uh, stuff in the portable cooler, or in the portable constructor. Okay. Drop all this stuff in there, drop that in there, drop that in there, some glass plates, some hydrogen. Keep the O2 on us, the multi-charges, we'll keep the, uh, bandages on us, we'll keep the O2 on us keep all the radiation tools this can go in there we'll keep that on us the water we can turn into uh, O2 we'll keep five charges on us and the rest can go in there we'll keep the cores on us we don't need the bot well yeah we need the biofuel we don't need this the other multi-tool now can we build a chainsaw yes we can chainsaw is going to be paramount to get wood uh, I need O2 in my life We need to loot some more supply caches. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I just can't build it yet. Okay, so we have a chainsaw now. We have a motorbike. We have that. So we're going to go over to the engine compartment and maybe we'll run into some more supply caches. Because those are going to be uh, paramount to. Uh, Getting a generator and whatnot. Actually, you know, we need XP in our life, so we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna pick up plants. Level three reached. We need level five is what our key goal is to get an armor locker. And uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be like I don't know if I'm gonna live in this start. Last start I was uh, doing really well. You know, I uh, I didn't die. I didn't die, so, you know, it was pretty good. Oh, look, I'm running on my motorbike again. Yay! Okay, we're gonna stop here. Yeah, food, this uh, hypothermia is gonna be an issue. Okay. Cool, we get two bottles out of this one. more water some more emergency O2 okay we got everything from here 
So let's pick up the heater or cooler. Actually, we need to mark where our base is. I'm not seeing any supply caches. Let's warm up. My rads are already hitting six rads. Uh, radiation immunity shot real quick. Let's make sure our rads are not going up any... Uh, any higher actually you know what we can uh, we can uh, set this to private and uh, these are just give us where is it there it is uh, throw that down in our uh, inventory we're gonna use all these bases as a, uh, a point of radiation reduction there we go. Get rid of the rads. Check the box. We'll take the O2. We'll take the bandages. And we'll take all the rest. We can eat the energy bar. We can eat the canned food. Okay, so we're back at it again. So we went to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark it. Uh, we're going to mark it as that. And pin it so that we know we've been there. Trees seem a long ways away. I think those are trees over there. Let's uh, let's go to the old farm. Too cold already again. We're gonna set this to uh, private again. Grab all the goodies out of here. We're gonna drink one of those hot beverages now that we uh, we're getting hypothermia. We're going to uh, we're gonna take that up and we are going to put it down on the hot bar again. Hypothermia. We're gonna put down a shower. Like I said, these are gonna be all hot spots. Okay. So now we're going to switch this building back to uh, public and then we're going to set our heater cooler down and we're going to drone out with the uh, F5 key and if you're wondering I want XP and I want components. This is just going to be a hot spot for a shower so I'm going to leave this, the block where the shower is but the rest is going to give me uh, Actually, there's only one grow pot here. I, I would just take it as plant fiber and whatnot for now. I know I should have probably taken it whole. I just want the XP right now. And the, uh, the material that this base is going to give me. Like the steel plates. And uh, whatnot. I need the XP to get to level 5. So that, and I need the parts so I can build an uh, HV so that I can get around a lot quicker and be protected against the environment. There's really not much to, uh, we'll take the vent. Does that glass give us anything? Uh, what about, I know the switch gives us something. We're going to need the uh, glass place for a starter box. So we'll gather up some of the glass plate. Like I said, these bases are just going to be strictly for uh, showers. Okay, level 4 reach. Our goal is level 5. I can't pick that up. Okay, I think we've taken enough part of here. Let's use the shower. Let's uh, go to the map. We want to head to Hongo now. So we want to pick this up. Hongo. Oh no. Put the heater down. You messed up somewhere. Map. Actually, remove Hongo for a second. We 
and uh, re re enable it. It's showing HUD. Okay, let's get rid of our rads one more time because this is hard settings. We need O2 in our life. Let's collect up uh, how many ever we can do there. We're going to scroll over real quick. Suck up all that air. Level 5 is, level five is paramount. Go in here once more. Loot everything in the box. Uh, switch this to private. Take that up. Put it back down. As a shower. Okay. Get rid of the rats. Same thing applies here. We just want the goodies. So we're going to pee. We're going to turn it back to public. And we're going to F5 again. And we're going to take just uh, whatever would give me steel plate or electronics or whatnot. We got the we got the, all that, so that'd give me some steel plate. That'd give me some mechanical components. Actually, this would give me really good good loot. computers. Yeah, we need computers. Yeah, there we go. Our main goal and focus is uh, is uh, level five. We get to level five, it's uh, it's a game changer. Let's p. Let's change this back to public. Oh, not public, private. And we're gonna see if we can get these grow plots back whole. We did. Okay. So that is it. Well, we can take this. Okay, that is it for this one. Map. We haven't been to the old farm, so let's head over to the old farm, and we'll do the same thing until we, uh, there's another, uh, we haven't been here? Looks like we have been. Yeah, we took it apart. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go back to... Let's go see if we can, uh, what we got is, see if we got enough to make a, uh, a small hover vessel so that we can get out of the cold environment so we can explore farther. Actually, we haven't taken this one over. This one's got some good parts on it. Or have we taken this one over? And I just didn't do the salvage mode on it. Yeah, I've been here. Okay. We just didn't do the salvage mode on it. Okay. Let's head back to the uh, Hongo. We have yet to find... Uh, actually, that's junk. Yeah, let's go to the junk. There we go. Won't say no to 302. We need to go to the multi-tool. Okay, you're gonna make me blow it up, huh? <laughs> Actually, I don't really need to blow it up. I'm, I'm good. Let's get back to Hongo. That was a small junk pile. We haven't seen any trees and whatnot. Where where's my portable constructor and heater? Now this is not the right one. Havoc rescue module is the one we want. <sighs> Right? Yeah. Actually, while we're thinking about it, let's grab these two trees right here. 
because we're going to need something to power the uh, come on warm up some rock too. Let's uh let's go over here and take this rock out. <sighs> We're gonna need some rock. We're about to die. <sighs> the radiation is the killer part of it all. I like that Raven uh, gave you a quest thingy to uh, uh, what to do in this scenario. If you were a new player, you the uh, helpful part of the explore the planet is uh, is a welcome change to Project Eden for any new players that are about to start it. Oh, that rock fell through the ground. There's another junk pile. I picked up my portal heater cooler, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, this is a good junk pile. We're up against it because of this radiation. Let's warm up. Let's grab this stuff out of the box. Let's uh, fly around, see if we can see the core. Yeah, the core is right there. Okay. Let's go blow the core up. Okay. So, do we have any more cores on us? Yes, we do. Put down a core. Set it to public. Now we're gonna we're gonna start looting. We'll loot all the cargo boxes. Let's fill up on oxygen. Oxygen is gonna be a paramount thing. Yeah, the oxygen is gonna be a real big issue. We need all these parts so that we can make a hover vessel so that we can stay out of the environment so that we can run around and uh, find more stuff so that we can get off this blasted planet. I don't need the blocks right now. I need, the, uh, need to get all the uh, crate containers real quick. Because I can, uh, I can fly around and, uh, and, uh, dismantle the rest if I want to. That is a good find. Ten computers. Food, food and, uh, radiation poisoning. We're almost at the max rad, so I'm going to pop one of those. It's going to give me radiation immunity for a little bit. Okay, warm up. I think we're doing pretty good, aren't we? Let's finish this up real quick. Another multi charge. Another multi tool. That's all the boxes. Let's get warmed up and then we'll uh, head for the rescue he rescue rescue modular over here. Because we're at point nine nine uh, rads, which is not a good thing. We want to be at zero rads because once you hit point one zero rads, you get radiation sickness. So I have 52 seconds to get over here and get rid of the uh, radiation before I get radiation sickness.
41 seconds. Too cold. This planet is death incarnated. <sighs> Please tell me this is where I left my constructor. Let's go get rid of the rats or we're going to... The, ray of the shower does warm you up a little bit, just so you know. And we did not... Oh, I was going to say we did not bring the heater cooler here. Okay. So let's dump all this junk in here and uh... We got three portable constructors, that's just crazy. Let's uh... Let's start setting some of these down. Line them up. Okay, they're all lined up. Okay, now that we're uh... Food is going to be an issue. We have one emergency ration left. So, one, two, three. One of those, one of those, one of those. And if we can, make one of those. So that we can get oxygen production going on. So is it nighttime right now? Let's, uh, let's... There's some O2 in there. Let's see if we can sleep. Oh, we can sleep. Good. Get rid of the radiation. Okay. All that should have been built. Yes, and by a new mistake, I did not make a starter box. But uh, that is okay. We, uh... Come on, baby. Yeah, there you go. We'll add uh, two biofuel. Okay, we didn't make a starter block, which is my fault. We don't need that. We'll take the explosives. We have cores on us. We have explosives on us. Let's just take five explosives. The other one can stay here. Take the O2. Bandages. The emergency O2. Okay, baby, come on. Make me. Ah, oh, he's making a core. I totally spaced that. Oh. That sucks. Oh well. We have three biofuel, so we're going to need to get some more biofuel going. So uh, let's make up as much biofuel as we can. We did pick up some trees, so uh, yeah. Let's queue that up. Okay, let's build a, a basic hover vessel to get around with. We're going to go with the starter block. We're going to go with... Actually... Nah, I, I like this cockpit the best. Okay. So, generator. Is right there. Fuel tank is right there. Can we make any O2? Let's cancel this for a second. one there and I want to put one on the other side and we're gonna put one right there so I need I need these O2 tanks to be finished because we're gonna use the O2 while we're in the ship we won't use O2 which is a good thing so after that just muck out some more biofuel as much as you can so yeah we're, so far it's a good start uh, we're not doing too bad we're gonna get this hover vessel powered up and then we're gonna go out and do uh, some trees and uh, yeah we're uh, we're gonna go get some trees no I don't want it in the cockpit I want this P let's uh, manage let's stick half in for now turn it on because it's going to take a little while to warm up. Why is she sitting lopsided? Mm. 
Okay, we may need to build another hover hover uh, engine. So, so frustrating in the early games of uh, Imperion, especially with these hover thrusters. They're like uh, crap, basically. Actually, let's make up uh, two steel blocks. Oh, I didn't put one another one on the back side. That's probably why it's lopsided. Let's see if that fixes it. It does fix it. But uh, since we have the uh, the other hover engine, we're just going to make it a four hover engine. It'll allow her to carry a little bit more weight too. Okay, so uh, we have steel blocks that I don't care about. We have some more biofuel. Okay, so bring the portable heater cooler with us. That's going right. Okay, we're getting water. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. We looted this box, right? Yeah, but we didn't take the core. We have four cores on us. Let's take that and the O2 and the bandages. Okay, so far we need to look for a generator. Generator and a fuel tank. That's what we're looking for. We have 80 minutes of power, which is good. So yeah, we are mobile. We need to go find some trees. So we need to, we need to, trees are paramount to keep the vessel running. So any trees that you see, uh, cut them down, basically. Ooh, what is that? I don't know what that is. Let's raise the ship up. I didn't clear my rad, so I'll have to go back to base. Which is fine. I didn't clear my rads. Did not clear my rads. Actually, what is this radiation burn? Radiation poisoning. <sighs> Will that that take all my rads down, so I don't have to go back to base right away? Okay. What is this over here? As we move slowly across the, uh, this must be a ruined building. What's in here? Absolutely jack nothing. Okay. That's good to know. Solar panels do not work on this uh, seed, so that you know, or on this planet. So solar panel is uh, not a thing that you should be looking to do, because the solar panels don't work on this planet. If you're doing a... Uh, a dead world start and uh, you wanna, you're want you wondering why they don't work it's because they're disabled for this planet there we go generator a couple fuel tanks okay we're gonna have to mark this one let's take whatever we can so we're going to go back to the havoc rescue module let's uh, mark this supply cache as uh, CM which is come or CB CB, come back. So I'm not cluttering up my screen with a whole bunch of things. Now that we got a generator, did we were we able to pick up the small constructor? No, we weren't able. We weren't able to pick it up. Okay, so let's run back here. Actually, I need these plants in my life. This will help me get XP. There's another tree we want to take down on the way back. I haven't seen a forest in this uh, in this playthrough yet. But uh, the ship will keep you warm, just so you know, as long as it's powered, don't power it off. Uh, these these hover engines don't suck up that too much power. Like I said, look, I'm at 77.4 minutes of power on the right-hand side down there in the bottom. So, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good, I mean. That is pretty good. I was able to, uh, yeah, okay. So, grab this plant. Rads go up so fast on the hard settings. I just, I didn't realize how bad it was because it's been a while since I started on the Dead World. You know, we did 31 episodes in the uh, last Project Eden and, uh, you know, I don't remember it being this bad, but I could be wrong. Food is going to be an issue. 
a real big issue. Those are half blocks over there, huh? Can you go in that corner? Yeah. Okay, we need a fuel tank. Okay. We can do all the building with F4 for right now. Okay, so we what we need to do is we need to we need to take out this block. And we need to actually we need to take out this block too. Cause we're gonna add both fuel tanks in here. One and two. Okay. We don't have a lot of biofuel on us, so we're just gonna three stick three in there. She's powered up. We're gonna auto group all the devices real quick. And we're going to turn on the oxygen. Okay, I think we got a good start. Uh, we got a generator, we got some fuel tanks. We got a radiation, so we're all sorted. Uh, we can actually plant plants in here now if we wanted to. So, uh, where's the light at? Yeah, that'll reach. Okay. So, yeah, we can plant plants in here now. So, uh, let's grab the uh, two grow plots back out. It's making more biofuel, which is great because we're going to need it. We're going to put. This is by far one of the best ones you can get as far as a POI goes because it's a sealed environment. You just need a generator and some fuel. And uh, how are we doing on fuel consumption for the base? We have... Uh, where is the statistics at? No statistics. Uh, block, blah, blah, blah. How, fa how many hours of power do we have left? That's what I'm looking for. I, I don't see it. Oh, power left. 16 minutes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to uh, need to go chop some trees down. Let's eat that. We're going to have to eat our emergency last emergency ration pretty soon. We picked up another portable heater or another constructor that we can get rid of. Yeah. Okay. This is where I'm going to call the video, everyone. I think I thank you for joining me in this uh, endeavor of, uh, of a... Uh, we're just collecting mobile constructors now we have water I uh, I want to say thank you and uh, for joining me in this uh, very tricky uh, let's cancel all that for a let's make some O2 so yes uh, thank you for joining me in this episode I really do appreciate you uh, if you uh, like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're new here, storm that like button and uh, storm that subscribe button. And I will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.